So welcome to this lesson on Fourier series. Transforms we will be learning about uh, how to uh, construct Fourier sine and cosine transforms and the inverse of these. So we start with the problem. Find the Fourier sine and cosine transform of fx equal to x when x lies between 0 and 2 equal to 0 otherwise. Now the Fourier sine transform, the formula is given by integral 0 to infinity fx sin ux dx. fx is x, so this is integral 0 to 2 x sin ux dx because everywhere else it is 0. Now we integrate by parts, so what is the formula for integration by parts? u integral v. So x integral of sin ux is minus cos ux by u within the limit 0 to 2 minus integral 0 to 2 derivative of x is 1 and you have a minus so plus cos ux by u dx so this is minus 2 by u cos 2u this minus 0 plus 1 by u sin ux by u within the limit 0 to 2 so that is minus 2 by u cos 2u plus 1 by u squared sin 2u so the Fourier sine series is sin 2u by u squared minus 2 by u cos 2u now what is the Fourier cosine transform? That is given by integral 0 to infinity fx cos ux dx. Again fx is defined as x when x lies between 0 and 2 equal to 0 otherwise. So this is integral 0 to 2 x cos ux dx. That will be x sin ux by u within the limit 0 to 2 minus integral 0 to 2 derivative of x is 1 sin ux by u dx. So you get 2 by u sin 2u minus 1 by u integral of sin is minus cos ux by u within the limit 0 to 2. So you get 2 by u sin 2u plus 1 by u squared cos 2u minus 1. And that is the answer. Coming to the next question. Find the Fourier cosine transform of the function fx equal to 4x when x lies between 0 and 1 equal to 4 minus x when x lies between 1 and 4 equal to 0 when x greater than 4. So as usual, how do you define the Fourier cosine transform? It is integral 0 to infinity fx cos ux dx. So we split this as integral 0 to 1 fx cos ux dx plus integral 1 to 4 fx cos ux dx. That is integral 0 to 1 4x cos ux dx plus integral 1 to 4 4 minus x cos ux dx. That will be 4 integrate by parts x integral cos ux is sin ux by u within the limit 0 to 1 minus integral 0 to 1 derivative of x is 1 sin ux by u dx. Again repeat the same thing here. So I get 4 minus x sin ux by u within the limits 1 to 4 minus integral 1 to 4 derivative of 4 minus x is minus so plus sin ux by u dx. So that will give you 4 sin u by u and uh, this becomes plus because integral of sin is minus. So plus 1 by u cos ux by u within the limit 0 to 1. And again when I substitute here you get 0 minus 3 by u sin u plus 1 by u integral of sin is minus cos ux by u within the limits 1 to 4. So you get 4 sin u by u plus 1 by u squared cos u minus 1. Again, this will become minus 3 by u sin u. At, I made a slight error here. So, it is 3 by u sin u minus 1 by u squared cos 4u minus cos u. And simplifying, you get it as sin u by u plus 5 cos u by u squared minus 1 by u squared cos 4u minus 4 by u squared. Note that sin u has to come on top here and u comes down. Okay. Coming to one more question, find the Fourier sine transform of fx equal to e raised to minus mod x and hence evaluate integral 0 to infinity x sin mx by 1 plus x squared dx. Now these problems are a little tricky, I wouldn't say confusing but a little tricky. The Fourier sine transform is integral 0 to infinity fx sin ux dx. That is integral 0 to infinity e raised to minus mod x sin ux dx. Now we use the formula for integral e raised to ax sin bx dx that is e raised to ax a sin bx minus b cos bx by a squared plus b squared. So using this integral 0 to infinity note that 
it is 0 to infinity of x so x is greater than 0 so mod x is x so this becomes e raised to minus x sin ux dx this becomes e raised to minus x minus sin ux minus u cos ux by 1 plus u squared a is 1 and b is a is minus 1 and b is u within the limit 0 to infinity so when i substitute this is x going from 0 to infinity so th this is 0 because e raised to minus infinity is 0 minus 1 this becomes 0 and this will become minus u cos 0 is 1 by 1 plus u squared so minus minus will give you u by 1 plus u squared so the Fourier sine transform is u by 1 plus u squared now we have a formula that if the Fourier sine transform is integral 0 to infinity fx sin ux dx then fx that is the inverse transform will be 2 by pi integral 0 to infinity fsu sin ux dx so here fx will be 2 by pi integral 0 to infinity what is the Fourier trans sine transform here u by 1 plus u squared sin u ux dx now integral u by 0 to infinity u by 1 plus u squared sin ux dx is pi by 2 fx using this cross multiplying integral 0 to infinity u by 1 plus u squared sin ux becomes pi by 2 fx so integral 0 to infinity if i replace x by u x by 1 plus u squared and u by m sin mx dx i'm replacing u by x and x by m sin mx dx becomes pi by 2 fm and what is fm fm is e raised to fx is e raised to minus mod x so fm will be e raised to minus mod m and since m is greater than 0 so this is pi by 2 e raised to minus m so we have learned how to calculate the Fourier sine and cosine transforms and done a lot of integration and i hope this has helped you so stay tuned for more videos on Fourier transforms. Thank you.